and see to it that your left elbow is to the right of your right elbow. If you looked into a window right now, you might say, what in the world are these people doing? They are participants in the Feldenkrais Method, an internal journey to rediscover their balance, flexibility, and coordination. Please, roll over onto your back. Unlike other modalities in the fitness industry, where you focus on strength, cardiovascular or aerobic activity, or stretching to lengthen, the Feldenkrais Method deepens your sense of how you move teaching you strategies to reduce effort and increase quality and coordination. It's an owner's manual for the human body. Several years ago, my husband started taking Feldenkrais and he came home telling me all these great things and you know, for a long time he kept suggesting that I take the class. And I was reluctant to because you know, it wasn't part of my normal um, workout regimen. One day he came home and told me about how he um, cut his running time for a mile by, by about two minutes and I became interested and I started taking Feldenkrais. I run faster, I feel that my technique is much better in my kickboxing classes and I feel that I don't have to exert as much energy. The Feldenkrais method has a profound effect on one's ability to act with precision, power and spontaneity. This method recognizes the brain as core of movement. It works in a gentle way using patterns of movement that exist deep within us to guide each individual to their most effective selves. By doing a series of slow controlled movements with awareness, breaking them down into their smallest components and looking at them in relation to gravity, we find the most effective and graceful way of moving. It enhances fitness performance. Your stamina improves, your yoga practice deepens, even climbing the stairs or reaching for a box of cereal becomes easier. You sort of handle situations more easily, I guess is, is what I would say, is, is what you bring to the workplace from taking film Christ. And then interestingly, I talked to a few of my professional dancer friends in the world of ballet, and they said, oh, Feldenkrais is the best, which I thought was very intriguing. But the thing that I found I like so much about it is that it's not only affected my movement and my tennis game, which has gotten much better and it needed it, um, but it also has given me a better developed sense of awareness generally. It's sort of, you know, there's an expression they use in Feldenkrais all the time, which is the, the, what will best serve your intention. And what I find is that it's in my life now, I think, what is my intention? And how can I best serve that? And that's a very valuable thing. As awareness of our movement is increased, tensions in the body are released and with it comes positive shifts in emotional and thinking patterns. Developed in Israel in the 1940s by Moshe Feldenkrais, Doctor of Science, in response to his own crippling knee injury, the method was first presented in the United States in the Bay Area in the early 1970s. Dr. Feldenkrais studied intensively in psychology, neurophysiology, child development, and other health-related disciplines, developing his system for accessing the power, or intelligence, of the central nervous system to improve human functioning. He found that with quiet exploratory movement, process-oriented and not goal-directed, the human mind could evoke new neuromuscular patterns in an organic manner much as the way babies learn to move. The importance lies in the attention given to the movement, the quiet exploration of a wide variety of options, and to its effect on the entire body. This is Dr. Feldenkrais's magic. He found a simple and enjoyable way to help us reach our full potential. I was injured and I couldn't walk for three months um, a year ago, and doing Feldenkrais was just the greatest opportunity for me to kind of re remind my body where it can pull strength from. Now I can, everything is fine and it's great and I'm wonderful, but I feel like um, every time I lay down, whether it's for yoga or Pilates or Feldenkrais, I, I draw that strength again into my body and I, I, re I remind myself kind of where I'm weak and where I can compensate for those weaknesses. Just as important as building muscle is how all the muscles work together to support the skeleton in action. A non-judgmental atmosphere allows individuals of all ages and abilities to learn at their own pace. This method increases vitality and has benefited those dealing with pain 
and disabilities such as arthritis, asthma, even cerebral palsy, stroke, and Parkinson's disease. In, in my office, I found that since I've uh, sort of been doing Feldman Kreis myself, this, that a patient comes to me with back pain, and I'll get them up, and I'll ask them to walk, and I'll watch them walk, and inevitably, they don't know how to walk. They're stiff, they, don't, they move their arms and their legs, and no other part of their body moves. It's not something I was that aware of prior to this, but after my own experience with Feldman Kreis, I can see that now. I just felt a kind of elegance and grace that would come from my having taken part in the class, and I felt as I was getting older, and I am a senior citizen, I decided that I thought there were three very important elements that I had to keep in mind, and one was flexibility, which Feldenkrais offers. Another is posture, which I think is very important. And another was balance. I think my ankle turned, and I skidded on the side of my shoe, and I just fell right in front of everybody in both of us, which is a Greek restaurant down on 57th Street. And I was aware that I kind of was not scared. I knew how to fall, and I knew how to get up. I felt a kind of confidence in my own body that I could retrieve myself without feel, you know, feeling that I had been hurt or damaged in any way. So I think in that way, the, that kind of body awareness is very essential, and I found it very, very important. Several years ago, my children were telling me, you know, Mom, you're getting a little stooped over. And uh, Feldenkrais has straightened me out uh, without any pain or without even my awareness of it. The process has, uh, has made such a difference in the way I stand and the way I move. So it, for me personally, as a human being, it's been wonderful. It's also been wonderful for me as a pianist. I have become more aware of many muscles that I have known intellectually I should be using uh, optimally to play the piano, muscles in my back that I have not accessed before. This is really an important um, synchronistic piece that belongs in the gym, that belongs in a, in a health environment. Um, when, when most people are working out, they're totally unaware of their bodies. They are doing repetitive movements. They're doing the same thing over and over and over. They're assuming they should be in pain and really don't understand. They actually relate to their pain as their aliveness. And with Feldenkrais, they start to enjoy feeling good. And that shifts into their workouts, and you, you can see a big difference. I'm really excited here to see that at the gyms, people are really lining up for Feldenkrais now. As that moves around the country, we're going to see a whole new level of wellness. The method's success and popularity continue to grow. People all over the world are benefiting from this work. You can't really appreciate the value of this method until you've tried it.